Hey everyone, welcome to the next Pi Game tutorial. In this one, we're going to get our enemy that we made in the last video to actually shoot a bullet. Uh, so I'm in our enemy 2 class right here. Um, we already made the bullet group, which is right here, and then we have a timer that we're going to decrement every frame, and when it hits zero, it'll actually shoot. So let's go down to our attack state, and right here, outside of the init state block, we're going to check if that timer hits zero. So we'll do if self dot bullet timer equals zero, self dot shoot, which is a method we'll write in a second to actually shoot the bullet. And then we'll set the bullet timer back to the max value. So self dot bullet timer equals self dot bullet timer max. Else we'll do self dot bullet timer and we'll subtract one from every frame. So this, this should make sense. Um, so let's go ahead and write the code to shoot the bullet. So shoot, we'll make a new bullet, which equals a bullet object, uh, which I actually added this earlier. Uh, but yeah, I imported the bullet object up here uh, for this enemy two class. Um, and one thing we're going to have to do in a second because of how we're going to draw the bullet, even though our enemy one class right here doesn't shoot, uh, because of how I'm going to draw it, and I didn't plan this out in advance, so this is uh, its kind of not the greatest way to do it, but just trust me. Just import the bullet object. That, well, you don't have to import the bullet object for enemy one, but it does need its own uh, bullet list. Uh, so you can just add that anywhere in here. Even though the enemy one's not going to be using it, go ahead and do pygame.sprite.group. Just make a... Uh, just make a bullets list, just like we did for enemy two for enemy one, even though enemy one doesn't shoot bullets. Um, let's get it back to enemy two. So for shoot, we make a new bullet. But if you remember in our bullet object, um, because I, my original idea was just to have the player shoot, when a bullet's created, it's velocity Y is negative eight, which means it shoots up. So we have to change that for the enemy. So enemy two, we're gonna do new bullet dot velocity Y, and we're just gonna make it four. That way it shoots down. And we also need to set its uh, coordinates so new bullet dot rec dot x equals self dot rec dot x and it needs to be in the middle so it'll be self dot rec dot x plus uh, self dot rec dot width divided by two yeah so that should put it in the center if it doesn't we'll tweak it in a second um, then we'll do new dot rec dot y equals self dot rec dot y and then we'll also have to add self dot rec dot height so this should make it to where the bullets actually coming out of the tip of the the enemy and then we want to add it to his bullets list so bullets dot add new bullet and now that we have this bullet group we also need to run the bullet groups update method every frame so we'll just throw that up here inside of the enemy's update method so self dot bullets dot update uh, so all this should work, but you're not going to see the bullet on the screen yet. So yeah, it didn't crash anything, but we don't see the bullets on the screen yet. So let's go down to our main dot pi. And the way we're going to do this is right after this enemy spawner, um, this is all the draw methods right here. So we're going to do for every enemy in enemy spawner dot enemy group. Uh, we're going to do enemy, we're going to grab their bullets list and we're going to draw to the display. So this should draw all the bullets to the display. This is why we had, had to add a bullets group for the regular enemy because the regular enemy is also in the same group. And if it goes, if it grabs that enemy, and says, hey, draw its bullets group. Well, and it's going to crash because enemy one doesn't have a bullets group. So we had to add it to it. And um, if, if I had, this is why you should always plan your code before you uh, start typing it. And this this tutorial, I'm just kind of doing on the fly. So it's kind of like spaghetti code. But I'm trying to keep it as organized as possible. Um, but yeah, we had to give uh, enemy the regular enemy a bullets group. Otherwise, it would crash right there. So this should draw the bullets to the screen. We may get an error. So he comes down. There you go. And he's shooting bullets. The bullets kind of look like stars. 
Um, but you could you could use your own images for the bullets or, or make them bigger, change their color, however you want to do it. But yeah, they're working and they're coming down. However, they don't hit me. So let's go ahead and figure out a way to uh, get collision to work for the bullets so they can actually hurt me. Okay, so the way we're going to do collision detection for uh, the enemy's bullets and the player, we need to loop through each enemy that's on the screen and check collision for their bullet list and the player. So let's do... Uh, for enemy in enemy spawner uh, enemy group so this will grab every enemy that's on the screen and we'll do another collided variable and do pygain by sprite dot group uh, was it group collide and we're gonna check the sprite group and the enemy the enemy's bullets list and then remember we're gonna do false for we don't want to kill the player and true for the bullet we'll just go ahead and destroy the bullet right there um, then we need to go ahead and loop through this dictionary so collided oh what we'll, we'll do four player and bullet and collided dot items and we'll do uh, if player uh, well, we'll do we want to check to see if the player is invisible or not so if not player dot is invincible meaning if he's able to get hit we'll do player dot get hit uh, so this should work for our collision for the bullets uh, so we'll go ahead and play that and let's see if it works oh we got an error so I typoed group collide so it should work So we'll wait for a bullet to come down, and it's working. Uh, there's no sound effect though, so I guess I forgot to add a sound effect for if the player gets hit. But I have one for the enemy, so let's find that. So let's actually just copy the sound hit from the enemy, and on our ship uh, right here, we'll add that sound for him as well. And for on his get hit method. We'll do self dot sound hit play. So this should add a sound effect for the player when he gets hit. And you could add your own sound effects and make it sound different than when the enemy gets hit. All right, so let's see if this bullet makes a noise. Yeah, so there we go. All right, so yeah, that's how we get the bullets to work. Uh, the next episode, we'll probably work on the game over screen. Uh, so when we get down to our last life and we die, it actually says game over. And uh, we are almost done. So yeah, you guys have a good one.